Okay, in today's video, we're going to test the slope coefficient in a linear regression. Uh, before we do that, uh, what we want to do is just quickly review what a standardized normal distribution looks like. Uh, we have the curve, and uh, what, we'll, what we uh, remember is under a population um, uh, analysis, we use the mean is equal to zero and the standard deviation is one. We use Greek letters to distinguish between populations and samples. So we just plot this. Our uh, average or mean would be zero and our standard deviation would be one. So we uh, add those and both to both sides, plus or minus. And then we also remember that about 68% of the area under the curve is plus or minus one standard deviation and 95% is plus or minus uh, around two standard deviations. And three standard deviations will capture about 99% of the area under the curve. So when we do a sample, we're going to replace uh, mu with average and uh, sigma with standard deviation. Uh, once again, to distinguish between a population and a sample. Uh, when we do uh, the slope coefficient analysis, uh, we actually get to use standard error. It is the standard deviation in a slope coefficient analysis. So when we look at the data that we have from our data set, we uh, estimate that the slope coefficient was 0 0.0176 and the standard error was, error was 0 0.012. So if we just plot this on our normal distribution curve, we begin with the mean of 0 0.0176 and then we're just going to add uh, standard errors to both sides of that uh, distribution. In this case, um, Remember the standard error is uh, 0 0.012, so we'll add that to the mean, and uh, that will be the value one standard error above the mean. And we do the same for the second, uh, for two standard errors and three standard errors. And we also do that on the negative side, and uh, we can start seeing what the distribution looks like. So if we look at our tables, we can see that uh, exactly 95% of the area is uh, plus or minus 1.95 standard uh, <coughs> deviations uh, times the standard error. In this case, it's uh, 0 0.0176 plus or minus 1.95 times the standard error. Uh, so we would get... Uh, uh, 0 0.0176 plus or minus 0 0.0234 and that range would give us from minus 0 0.0058 to 0 0.0410 and we can see uh, what that area would look like um, <clears throat> and the key question is where is zero? Uh, zero actually falls within that 95% uh, confidence interval and if that's the case, then um, we cannot reject the hypothesis or the claim that the true slope <coughs> is actually zero. So even though our regression equation tells us that the slope is 0 0.0176, by the time we consider the standard error of that estimate, we note that zero is included in that range. Therefore, um, there could be no relationship between the independent and the dependent variables. All right, that's today's uh, lesson.